So now let's make something that looks a little bit more fine art. We'll call this like our clay finishers uh, type brushes. Again, if you want to, you can go in here to projects, demo projects. You can load up really anything. You can load up any of these. The demo Greyhound is already kind of set up for thick skin. You can even go to your tool menu, grab the dog or Julie or the demo soldier. Or if you want, just open up an old project. You know, these are kind of fun just to kind of go back in and play with some of these new features. Let's go in here to subtool and turn off, hold down shift, turn off polyframe. Let's go ahead and turn this guy into kind of a clay statue. So I'm going to alt tap his body here. And you know what? I'm just going to hit clone. So it sits, puts it out into his own uh, subtool here. So here's his uh, body. Now we do have subdivisions on here. So if I want, again, I can go down here to thick skin, turn that on, dial in that thickness in here. And then again, we go in here to BC, or I'm sorry, BTS for thick skin clay. We can go through here and we can start, you know, very simply going through here and just making it look like this is, it was a clay sculpture. So we already talked about how to make this brush and that was basically going in there to your groom brushes. And you know, if you want to, you know, do a couple tests, go in here to BG brush groom. So like groom hair long. Let's go in here, change out that alpha to be maybe alpha six. And here you can get kind of a, a smoother result. It's kind of, and it's actually, you can kind of see it pushing around the pre-existing detail a little bit. You can go in here to that focal shift and soften that out even more. Maybe focal shift to zero. Go in here. Change to a square alpha. Or again, that scraggly alpha. Or maybe alpha 61. Let's hit BC1, which is crumple. Let's go ahead and crank up that Z intensity. So here you can kind of use this. It's kind of like a nudge brush. It'll kind of go through. And again, this is a spray stroke. We can go through here, change out the alpha. No, and again, we're limiting the effect of that. If we turn off thick skin, it's going to really do some crazy stuff, but undo back to where your thick skin was really, uh, originally on, and you're going to see it just going to kind of move, just kind of undulating over that surface. You can very quickly get that nice clay buildup. You can try the fold brush, the rake brush, BR, to go to rake brush, and this will give you like a nice rake buildup. And again, if this is too thick for you, you can go back and, you know, change that skin thickness down a little bit, and that'll rake down, you know, won't cause quite as much surface distortion, because again, you're limiting that. So very quickly, you can get like a nice rake effect with your clay here. And if you wanted to fill a little bit more like clay, feel free to go in here. There's some matte cap here. You can go in like matte cap wed clay. There's green clay, Roma, you can even go back in here to like skin shader four, just dial in a color and remember, go back in here to your render preview AO, turn that on, dial in that intensity here. And now you've got like a nice clay surface here. Let's go BB for blob brush. And it's kind of the same thing. Again, it's kind of going to nudge your uh, mesh around here. Let's go ahead and throw in a circle alpha. And again, we're just going to kind of push around uh, that that detail here. So any number of choices. Uh, honestly, out of those, my, probably my favorite is the crumple brush just to get a very nice uh, clay feel really quickly. Speaking of nudging your brush around, there is the nudge brush, so B-N-U for your nudge brush, and that's going to kind of push that gel around. Again, if we turn thick skin off temporarily, uh, you can see it's going to kind of just nudge your brush around. So let's go ahead and hit Control Z so we're back to our thick skin mode. And the reason I keep hitting Control Z to go back to thick skin is I can always go back to thick skin at zero and just get rid of all this. So anything I've done, I can always get rid of it. If I turn off thick skin and then turn it back on, now it doesn't do anything, but it's storing those new vert positions. So that's why I hit undo to go back to my original thick skin so I can always go back to my original mesh if I need to. And then just dial in my thickness from that point. Now it could come in handy to use that functionality, turn it off and then turn it back on again, uh, depending on the result you're trying to get. But again, nudge brush, throw in an alpha, have your thick skin on, maybe even crank up that Z intensity. And now it's gonna get kind of a, you know, going through here and smoothing out a little bit. So it's like you're, you know, taking your thumb across here and the nudge brush will kind of get rid of some of those rake lines a bit. So play around with those different brushes. There's all sorts of cool things you can do with them. Again, BC1 for your crumple brush. Get you a very, very quick. Uh, and now this one doesn't have maybe as much control. I, ideally, you would go down like the forms 
your, your surface forms and you wouldn't just rely on just pure randomization. But again, if you just need a really quick kind of a rough surface, this is a really easy way to do that. And then you can go back in here, even something as simple as a clay buildup, or just go back to your clay, uh, your thick skin clay, and just kind of go through here and just kind of rake across here, you know, around your surface forms like you would uh, with using traditional clay. And then speaking of rake, go in here to BR uh, rake, and go through here and use the rake brush to kind of, again, if you're gonna, you know, go in here to traditional sculpting, you're gonna go, you know, do the little half moon uh, rakes to kind of smooth out some of these surfaces here. So you'll end up with a bunch of little uh, rake lines. And in fact, you don't even have to use rake. You can go back again to your clay buildup brush, throw in that scraggly alpha, and that'll, I don't know why I keep calling it scraggly alpha, this alpha right here, alpha 60. And uh, you know, that'll give you a, a rake effect as well. So you can go through here and you can kind of, again, do those little half moon shapes. It'll, it'll look like your forms are refining. And then, and in fact, you know, if you're going for more detailed forms, I might even dial it down to like 1.5. Um, so that way, as you're using the rake brush, you know, it'd be a little less noticeable. Eh, maybe a little more so that, say 1.9. So again, you're following the forms of your face, you're using that rake brush, and it's kind of giving you a kind of rake look. And then again, you just swap this out. Let's swap this back to maybe just this alpha 06 circle alpha. And then as you go through here, that'll start getting back to your smooth form. And really all you're doing is taking those original vert positions and moving them 1.9 units ahead. So you're actually using this clay buildup brush to brush back. You can hold down Alt and brush back in if you want to, uh, just to kind of give it more of a, like a clay buildup look. Or again, uh, BNU for your brush nudge. And you can kind of go through here and kind of smear uh, this around kind of give it a little bit of a softer look as well as as you're nudging it towards that thickness here. So you can see you can kind of smear out these rake lines here. And then if you just go really heavy, like clay build up uh, and just go really heavy, it's gonna go back uh, again, just projecting your original vert uh, positions forward 1.9. So that's gonna give you a very refined look. So, you know, kind of depending on the look you're going for, you can use that sparingly or just kind of dial in where you want your detail to kind of end up from your original sculpt. And there you go, you get a very clay look. Now, at the very beginning of this playlist, you've probably seen it. Uh, we can also go to my YouTube channel here, and you can see this is kind of an, you know, this in action, just starting out with a mannequin, posing it with a skeleton here, going through, and just, you know, do some quick cloth, use some clay brushes, the rake brushes go through, put a, make a little stand, Use some light booleans. Use the keyshot bridge, throw it in the keyshot, and you can very quickly get a very easy clay render. Old Shavant NSP. And then here's like a little lost wax version. So again, you can kind of go through here, use live booleans to kind of dial back. Again, use the live booleans to kind of show here's the here's the shell, and then here's the bronze uh, that comes out of that shell, basically. And again, it's all just ZBrush. It's all just rendered uh, to look like the real thing.